Chapter 6. What if life were a game? As teenagers going through school, we weren't exactly gifted the most empowering perspective of education. At least not the learning part of it, anyway. Eyes to the front of the room, books and pens at the ready to take notes. No talking, no distracting, no being distracted. And most certainly, for the love of mankind, no playing games. Then we become adults and the trend continues. It's a stage of our development the majority of the workforce refer to as death by PowerPoint. You'll know the death. It's a slow and painful one you've likely been on the receiving end of yourself. The lecture-style seminars continue. The boredom has become the norm. And bathroom breaks are suspiciously taken more often than they were in earlier years. And by the end of it, we're expected to passionately implement what we just learned right away. So who could blame today's growing professionals for having an adverse and that's putting it nicely, reaction to the words education, training, learning, or development. Nothing in their past really tells them they could possibly enjoy what they're about to be put through. So much of it goes against the way true learning and growth naturally happens. It's like starving a plant of water and expecting it to thrive. Or as Neil deGrasse Tyson says, we spend the first year of a child's life teaching it to walk and talk, and the rest of its life to sit down and shut up. There's something wrong there. And this is why we find our students are so naturally and enthusiastically attracted to learning through games. Games bring out that inner child in us that only wants to explore, create, make mistakes and learn. Games allow us to learn critical business lessons the easy way, where the only cost is in the training room, not on the revenue sheet at the end of the day. Games make us want to work with others to achieve a common goal. Games provide a metaphor for life at large. Games are, dare we say it, fun. And when we're having fun, we want to include others. When we're having fun, we want to keep playing and keep learning. Imagine that. Fun means we'll actually remember what we've learned. Fun means we'll be eager to implement what we've taken away and start taking action on it immediately. Fun isn't the icing on the cake to a training. It's the flower that keeps the entire thing standing. And it's exactly what the sales game was designed with in mind. Because if we're not here to have a bit of fun while we grow, then why even bother growing in the first place? When did business get so serious? Lack of confidence, self-doubt, fear. The three most common challenges I hear when asking business owners and salespeople what's holding them back from taking action towards the goals they've set for themselves. I'm sure you, the listener, can empathise with this too. I think we all can. If only we could somehow remove these barriers and have the freedom to go explore as we choose. Imagine a time when you can pick up the phone and call whoever you please. What about a time when you had no hesitation in asking for business or referrals or recommendations? Better yet, imagine a time when you had a massive smile on your face doing all of the above. Is it possible to laugh most of the day and be paid damn well for it? Well, unfortunately, for most of the business and sales world, this is not the case. Instead, we sit in serious boardrooms paired with serious conversations and take everything far too seriously. My question becomes, when did this happen? Or has it always been this way? I sat with a client in recent times. He wanted to get over his paradoxical dilemma of getting the results he wanted from his buyers whilst realising they didn't exactly enjoy the buying experience as they were made to feel uncomfortable during the questioning. It was more masterful persuasion rather than true human connection. And as he was describing the challenge, I could even feel myself becoming uncomfortable as his mentor. It was a tense conversation with no smiles anywhere in sight. Hesitation followed with him trying to get the words right and the other team members sat around the boardroom table in dead silence. The atmosphere was awkward and discomforting. I asked him, what's something you love outside of work? He quickly shook his head side to side and replied, um, almost as a way of saying, what does this have to do with my problem? Go on, I quickly replied with a smile on my face, what is it? Well, I suppose I like a good Shiraz. I like eating cheese, visiting wineries and learning about different winemakers. I like the good stuff. Less preservatives, meaning less hangovers. 
Immediately there was a lightness, not only to his tone, but his whole being. He had a slight smile, raised just at the edges. He spoke more with his hands and his shoulders relaxed as he gently swiveled in his chair. The whole room smiled. I think they breathed properly for the first time in a little while and the joke started to flow around the table. Shiraz, I yelled. It's your key word, my friend. Every time you're heading into a sales conversation, I want you to think about your love of Shiraz. I proceeded to wave my palms towards the floor to show that it's completely okay to relax. Chill out. Have a smile on your face and still talk about work. They don't have to be two separate things. From that day on, he was a whole new person when it came to sales conversations. Not only did he smash company records, but he had a smile on his face whilst doing it. His buyers loved the experience and referred more opportunity his way. It's completely okay to have fun making money. In fact, I would almost argue that it's the best and most effective way to make money. That's what the sales game is all about. And trust us, sometimes we even need to remind ourselves that it doesn't have to be serious all the time. Fun is not the enemy of progress. Fun enables progress. Let's play. So I came into this event super excited and really looking forward to spending the two days here in this room. And what really drew me in was learning through games because I know for me, there's been a lot of learning uh, from me playing Monopoly and I'm sure uh, <laughs> a lot of you might resonate from that. And wow, has it been way more uh, in depth than what I would have ever imagined. The amount of learning that I got in, first, in the first day and uh, it just compounded in day two, just created such an effect after day two that I now am in a place not only where I understand myself so much more, I also uh, am able to put that into my business and really get some results from that. So it's, it's just been such a phenomenal experience and I really can't encourage uh, you enough or anyone that, that wants to learn about themselves and really get some great results in their business to come along to this training. It's been phenomenal and I highly, highly recommend it to anyone that wants to give it a go and, and uh, yeah, take, take on the game of life and take on the game of, of um, this, this particular session.